Over here, we have a little tab, and if you flick that, it should sound just like that. If it makes a dong, dong, dong kind of sound, then that's broken. Uh, either way, let's try swapping it out. We're going to send you a new one, and I will show you how to replace that. So we're going to have four screws. I've already taken the screw out of this one. Uh, you might have a couple more, but typically we just have four. What we're going to do is we're going to take these out. Okay, we're down to our last screw. We're going to take this screw out. Now we're going to take this whole container out. It should slide out here without too much problem. There we go. Now we've got the entire container out. This is the little tab that we want to replace. This is what releases each pencil individually. Sometimes they go bad. When they go to bad, they're actually a really easy fix. You just look on the back side. You get, get yourself a pair of pliers, channel locks. These are just uh, needle nose pliers here. And you're gonna loosen that nut on the end of the bolt or the screw. Not quite loose enough there for my hand. Okay, we got it loose enough. We're just gonna take this right off and we're gonna slide this tab off the back side here. That bolt should be positioned, that shouldn't come out. Once you've got this off, you're just gonna replace it with the new one we sent you. Okay, now that we have our little brand new tab, we're gonna put this with the hole through the screw. We can get that set. We're going to have the hole through the screw with the tabs facing back, these two prongs facing back. We got that on. We're going to put our little nut on, and then we're going to put on our. The washer and the nut. Washer and the nut. There we go. It's going to go on, and then we just want to crank that down and. While you're tightening, you're gonna. This might start to tilt a little bit, and you're gonna want to try to adjust it uh, without bending it. Okay, we're gonna put this up back inside, and we're gonna make sure the large ramp is facing towards the back. And the tab, you want to see it facing towards you in the front. There you go. And go. Okay, go ahead and make sure you want to get your uh, screws all set in here, but don't crank them on down too tight. As you set them in there, you're going to want to set each one and give a little bit of space in there so that just so that there's a little bit of maneuverability before you hand tighten it down. Once you've got them all set in there and the screws are all placed, then you're just going to hand tighten these down. Firm but not super tight. You're not trying to crank those down. You just want them snug. And as soon as you hit resistance, you can just stop cranking down. Okay. Okay. Last thing you're going to want to make sure you put this down inside. There's a little ledge down here that this little lip will sit on. You got the arrow pointing to the front. That tells you where it goes. This will hold the weight of the pencils before they roll on down into the dispenser. Again, this is a bigger machine, so your machine might, might look different. And we're going to test it out. Ready? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna use our quarter here. We're gonna stick in there and we are going to, there we go. That should work just like that.